Hello YouTube, this is Tychandrus doing another action figure review and this time it's for the Aquaman movie Queen Mira or Mira um, action figure and this is part of the Mattel's 12 inch scale figures uh, which are in, called True Moves. Um, this seems to be going across the board for both the Batman missions, the Aquaman movie line, I think the Justice League line had started with it. I could be wrong, but I know the Batman missions for some of the first figures to have the kind of subtitle of True Moves. This is basically uh, kind of a more articulated 12 inch figure than some of the other companies that are out there at the moment. Most, um, most notably the Hasbro stuff. Hasbro have their what's called the Titan series. Whereas these guys are a little bit more articulated in the fact that you can actually position the elbows and wrists and stuff so onto the figure so I'm not too familiar with the actress who's playing her but I just picked up the figure um, just to have the next figure in the line and I mainly picked up the figure for the hilarious box um, so the box for the figure is this window style packaging so you have an image of Aquaman on the side of Jason Momoa you have images of the figure on the back, you have other figures in the line which is the Black Manta figure which I've already reviewed and the movie style uh, kind of more comic look style as opposed to the Justice League style that he had of um, Aquaman. You got like a whole bunch of um, stuff about figure may not stand a show, needs sold separately, all that kind of mumbo jumbo. You got legally stuff on the bottom then just more images of the figure in kind of different poses. Um, it's interesting to show that the leg here on this one it looks like there it's angled with a kind of a ball jointed hip but it's not I'll get into that in a minute but what I found hilarious is the really poor photoshop done image of the character on the front I don't know if it look uh, how it's coming across on camera but it looks almost looks like it's um, Princess Fiona from Shrek on the cover of the box. I just thought that was absolutely hilarious. Um, it's just whatever way they photoshopped the hair onto the body or the airbrush, the, the face on the figure for the box, it just looks absolutely hilarious. But onto the figure itself. So before I go into the figure, I'll just go on how tall the figure is. So she stands a little just a little around 11 and a half inches so she's a, a bit smaller than some of the other figures uh, some of the others are like 11 and 3 quarters they're just under hair under that um, 12 inch mark but um, she has a quite nice sculpt uh, as again I'm not, too sh I'm not familiar with the actress who's playing her so I'm not sure how close the likeness to her is but you have this kind of headband the kind of um, crown kind of thing thing on her head which is a sort of soft uh, rubbery plastic her hair seems to be in two pieces I think um, or well her head is in two pieces the face is one piece the hair is another piece and then well you have this um, crown piece as well she does have a ball jointed head but because of the hair being the way it is it's very tough to actually man manipulate it and move it uh, she does have ball jointed arms that go out to that side, uh, that much, and she can, if you just push the hair in a bit, she can do 360 with the arms. Just do it on both sides. It is a bit tricky because her hand, her, her shoulder tends to pop out, but if you move the hair out of the way, it does 360. She does have single jointed elbows with a swivel, and she gets about a 90 degree bend on the on the elbow and then she has wrist swivel which is interesting considering the uh, other figure that I have, the other female figure which is the Batgirl from the Batman Missions line they didn't uh, left out her wrist swivel for some reason even though this figure does have it and then you got the single jointed knee uh, it does look a bit odd when she because of the way her suit is and then you have joints in the hips for doing splits she can go forward that much into a seated position but she doesn't have much in the way back but she can get into some sort of in sort of kind of diving 
positions. I like the sculpt overall sculpt of the figure. It's kind of cool. It has kind of scale pattern going all over the all over the figure. And what's interesting as well is I'm not sure if it's picking this up. You can actually see where the uh, eyes and this body armor stuff is actually digitally printed or digitally painted onto the figure. More so on the eyes. You can if I'm not sure if you'll show up well on camera, but if looking at it without the camera, you can actually see the eyes are actually slightly pixelated, whereas it was kind of put in with little dots and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't seem to have that on the on the wrist paint apps. It seems to be just a standard normal paint apps, but the actual waist um, symbol here as well, kind of, you can see this kind of lines where it was kind of printed. So, and you have that on the kind of armor part as well, or the kind of fish scale sort of stuff for her uh, body. Uh, so, and she does actually have peg holds on the bottom of her feet as well, unlike the other, some of the other figures from the the 12 inch line. So there is that as well. So overall, it's a really good figure. Um, let me just turn it around there. Sculpting wise, it's quite good. And just to show for scale, I don't have the Black Manta figure with me at the moment, but this is the Batman figure from the True Moods, from the Batman Missions line and the Joker figure from the Batman Missions line as well, so she does scale up quite nicely with those as well, so you can mix and match the uh, kind of different properties. And I'd say she'd probably fit in just as well with any of the um, Justice League 12 inch figures that Mattel did recently as well. So, there you go guys, just a quick video review for the Mira figure from the Aquaman movie line. Uh, as I say in my videos, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I will try and reply to as many comments as I can get to. Cheers, guys.